Hi guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a book review um, on Smack by Melvin Burgess. I just got done reading this book. It takes place in the UK. Um, it is 365 pages. And the words are like that big. It is a story about two heist or two uh, young teenagers. I think they were 13, 14 at the time when it began. Um, they start dating. The one boy is abused. His name's Tar, and he's um, beaten by his father. And his mother's an alcoholic. Well, his dad is too. And um, he decides to run away. His girlfriend Gemma. She um, is just rebellious, and she just doesn't want to listen to her parents' rules and that. So um, Tar runs away, and it's like a few weeks or a month later that he calls Gemma and asks Gemma to come, come be with him. So Gemma runs away too. And they end up living on the streets. Well, not really the streets. Um, they take up um, empty, they live in empty buildings, empty houses. They're called squatters. And I guess in the UK, it's illegal to do. Um, so they meet up with a um, couple people who take them in and, and take care of them. Well, of course, they smoke hash, which I'm not sure if hash is pot. Um, but they smoke that. Um, and then, of course, they drink and that. Well, one night they go out to a party. And Gemma meets a guy and a girl. And she decides that you know what, I like them, they're cool, I want to hang out with them. And she starts distancing herself from Tar um, to be with these people. And um, before you know it, she starts smoking heroin because that's what they do. And it's just like this progression of her fall into heroin. Um, and Tar is very an uptight um, kind of kid at first and all that stuff. And um, he doesn't want nothing to do with it. Well, then she, um, they're like, oh, come on. One time won't hurt you. One time won't hurt you. Come on, blah, 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 blah. You know, that peer pressure, that pressuring and stuff. And so he goes ahead and he does it. And all it took was that one time, you know. And, of course, they're convinced that they're not hooked. They can stop whenever they want. And, you know, it goes through and tells you about, like, just about what they do. They don't work. Um, they steal. Um, they smoke hash. They sm uh, smoke heroin. They drink. And then before you know it, they're shooting up. And Gemma's sharing needles with Tar. And um, uh, Gemma, to me... She's a bitch. She is very all for herself. Um, she doesn't care about other people. She just wants to do what makes Gemma happy, and that's it. That's why when she met these people, um, she just left Tower. She didn't care if he came with her or not, if he partied with her or not. She didn't care anymore. And um, I didn't like that about her at all because Tar did everything for her. I mean, he just, she was all that he cared about. And, um, you know, later on in the story, they end up getting uh, caught with the drugs. The police go to their house, and Tara ends up taking the rap for it all. And, you know, once again, um, covering for Gemma. And um, he ends up going to rehab. And he does really good in rehab. And um, But when he comes out, you know, it just took that one time. And he falls right back in again. So the story kind of goes on like that. And well, towards the end of the story... Um, something happens with Gemma, and she decides that she's had enough, that this isn't the life she wants to lead anymore. And so she um, she leaves. She goes into rehab. She checks herself um, into the hospital. Um, but unfortunately, they can't do anything um, for her for the drug issue. So after three and a half years of being gone, she has one of her friends call her parents and she hasn't seen her parents in three and a half years. And her parents come, and they come to the hospital, and, you know, there's this big, you know, reunion, uh, sad crying, you know, all that stuff. Um, I guess heroin really ages you. So instead of Gemma looking 
like she's 18 that she was supposed to be. So that means she was 15 uh, when she ran away, 14, something like that. Um, I guess she looked like her grandmother. That's what her mom said. She looks like my mom. Um, she couldn't believe just how old Gemma looked. And they come and they take Gemma home and they take care of Gemma. And um, Gemma misses Tar and tells Tar that if he wants to be a part of her life, he has to be clean. So he um, goes back into rehab and he gets clean. Um, and when he comes out, he has Gemma believing that he's clean. But as the story's ending, it's saying how he just does it occasionally. You know, he's still doing heroin, but he just does it occasionally now, not like he was hooked before. And, you know, the book just shows what a hold it can have on you. Like, you become somebody that you don't even know. Um, Gemma was the, the little bitch in the beginning that didn't care about anybody. And then by the end of the story, you know, she got help. She got went into rehab, and she started thinking about others. Um, Tyra, on the other hand... He was uh, very uptight, like I was saying. Um, he was always so scared to do things and just loved Gemma to pieces and just would do anything for her. And then once he got into heroin, um, he would do anything for the heroin. He lied. He stole. Um, you know, even all the way up to the end, he tried to get clean for her, but he just couldn't do it, you know. And, I mean, it's just horrible. It just takes the one time. That's it. And, um, yeah, it just, it wasn't, to me, it was a very, very good book, but it wasn't as, um, intense as Ellen Hopkins books, but it was, I don't know if it's because Ellen Hopkins books is like right to the point. Um, but this was, uh, this was a very good book. I suggest, um, you know, if you are into those type of books, the intensity, uh, drugs, teenagers, you know, just what it does to you, how it consumes you. Um, I would get this book, Smack by Melvin Burgess. Like I said, it takes place in the UK, so there's a lot of the words that they use or slang or whatever. Um, that I mean, I figured it out because of how the sentence was in that. But even in the back of the book, it shows you, um, it actually has like a glossary. Uh, is that what it's called, a glossary? In the back of the book, and it'll tell you the words that they use and what they mean. So that was kind of neat. If you can't figure it out, like Lou, toilet, um, Lecky as electricity, Knickers as panties, you know. So, yeah. So good book. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.